Today we're going to be talking about potential energy and kinetic energy. And we're going to be demonstrating some examples for you guys. So before we get into potential and kinetic energy, let's first explain about energy itself. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. There are two types of energy. One is kinetic energy, the other is potential energy. Potential energy is the energy stored in an object. Kinetic energy is when that potential energy is released and the object is moving. Potential energy can convert to kinetic energy and kinetic energy can convert to potential energy. There are three forms of potential energy. One is gravitational form, the next is the chemical form, and last is the elastic form. We are first going to be explaining about the elastic form. For this, we're going to be using a catapult. So as you see, this catapult, whenever I pull this, all this potential energy is getting stored up in the elastic or the rubber bands. These rubber bands are the ones that hold it. As you see, if you look at this rubber band, this stick is moving, but it is keeping still because of the rubber band. So since it's able to stick still, it is gaining that energy and not moving. However, when I let go, since I let go, um, all that potential energy that was in the rubber band is let go, making the ball flying. And let me try my um, catapult. My catapult is also using potential energy. To, and now I'm going to show you it again. Uh, next, we're going to be moving on to the chemical uh, form. So the battery is inside the flashlight. It is not like um, creating light or anything. It is like being still. So therefore, all that potential energy that's inside is going to the battery. But when I on it, all that potential energy is released so that the light can form. Next, we'll be moving on to the gravitational form. So I'm going to be pushing a rock from this tiny mountain right here. So I, let, let's push and see what happens. Like always, gravity pulls it down to the ground. But depending on the angle, the angle is the one that makes the most amount of destruction. Since I pushed it from here, destruction happens here to the small mountain and to the ground. But if I like dropped it from here, destruction only happened to the ground. Um, the way this rock is in potential energy is from whenever like it's standing still, it, it's not doing any movement. So it is able to gain that potential energy. However, when I move it, the potential energy is transforming to the kinetic energy and all, it is getting pulled by gravity so that gravitational form is the kinetic energy so um in this video we show you guys um how the potential energy can be transformed into the kinetic energy some forms that we used today were the gravitational form the uh, chemical form and the elastic form